only the adventurers is credited to have seen squirrels with a hunchback. Likewise, it is obviously incontestable that there are very many Nigerians who are patriotic and can give their all to the nation. TVC News' John Jacobs in this poetry piece pays tribute to a gallant soldier who died in line of duty so that the unborn Nigerian may inherit a country of peace and tranquility. All I wanted to be was a gallant, a very gallant soldier. My first love was never journalism, but to do battle endlessly. I lived for it and would do anything to adorn myself in that camouflage. My mother fought against it because she wouldn't like to see her little boy join the army. Not because she wasn't patriotic, but she feared for her son's life as she couldn't afford a teardrop she could prevent. Dad was indifferent as he wouldn't interfere with his little boy's dream. Could I send the seed of my loin into the lion's den? Enough for my parents and my childhood dreams. Now let's talk about Muhammad Abu Ali. Let's talk about Abu Ali, the one they call Seriki Yaki, the chief warrior, whom I choose to call Boko Haram Nightmare. May I most respectfully and dutifully also invite the chief of army staff to decorate the newly promoted lieutenant colonel, Muhammad Abu Ali. You were gallantly personified, Abu. You were daunting as you were daring. Whenever you surfaced, the men of the underworld trembled. You kept the warmongers on their toes and wouldn't take chances with blood suckers. You were a pain in their marrow, for you fought to save our tomorrow. We will remember to always adore and adorn you, for you were fearless and virulent. That moment, fellow combatant would want out. You stood still and firm, not minding the outcome. Because the only thing that mattered to you was a Nigeria free of assault and crisis. You wanted a world of peace for the unborn kids. You would do anything just to achieve that, regardless of whose horse is God. <laughs> Ahmed Abu Ali, we would immortalize your memory. Our children yet unborn will hear of your gallantry. We will tell them that you secured our future. We will tell them that you gave us our tomorrow on a gold platter. No one could do it better than you. And so, no one ever attempted ever doing it like you did. It was for our sake you went all the way. You were probably aware of how far you were going, yet you went all the same. Gunshots to you became mere sound of the gong. Grenades no longer sound differently from a song. You rocked all weather and weathered all storm. You became the signature of every eye, for your tongue could tell no lie. We would have wanted for you to sleep on in the bosom of God. But because you lived and died to do battle, which eventually gave you that enviable title, so we would rather that you enroll in the heaven's army so you can fight endlessly in the chariots of cherubs and seraphs. Goodbye, Colonel Abu Ali. Your legacy we will keep as long as life endures. John Jacobs, TVC News. Remembering our fallen heroes, Nigeria indeed still remembers you.